today we're going back in time to the 1984-85 draft and this time the Rockets will be selecting Michael Jordan with the first overall pick. The top three of the draft went Hakeem, Sam Bowie, Michael Jordan. So all I did was move Michael Jordan to first to go to the Rockets and then Hakeem Olajuwon was taken by the Portland Trailblazers and Sam Bowie was taken by the Chicago Bulls. We will follow some with Hakeem throughout the sim, but most of this is going to be a Michael Jordan sim. We will follow and see how his career is different after being drafted by the Houston Rockets. As you can see, the year is 1983. I went ahead and used the Bird versus Magic era on 2K, so we are a year behind of what is actually happening. What I am going to do, though, is push every draft just up one year. So the Michael Jordan 84-85 draft is now the 83 draft, and then the 85-86 draft will be 84, so on and so forth until the end of the sim. All right, Michael Jordan is with the Houston Rockets. Let's get right into year number one. Magic Johnson wins MVP in year number one. 23, 11, 13, a steal per game. Kevin McHale, sixth man of the year. Akeem Olajuwon, defensive player of the year in his rookie year, averaging 1.2 steals, 2.8 blocks. And the Lakers go 73 and nine, setting the record for greatest record of all time because of course the Warriors do not yet exist in this sim. But yeah, a good season for Michael Jordan. Let's see what he can do in the playoffs. Now these playoff series are best of five, this first playoff series here. So it's gonna be a much shorter series for us as we split the first two games. We take game three and we go to a crucial game five here in the first year and we are eliminated. We get knocked off by the Dallas Mavericks in year number one of Jordan's sim with the Rockets. And the Lakers just absolutely dominate. They don't lose a single playoff game on the road to a championship led, of course, by Kareem and then Magic Johnson. 31, 15, and 5, 1.3, 3.3 for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's going to be dominance from the Lakers and Celtics early on in these Sims. Let's see what happens in year number two. And after just one year, Michael Jordan is already out of there. He has left and he has ran off to the Atlanta Hawks where he will be with <laughs> Dominique Wilkins. This is going to be an absolutely dominant team here. 96 overall, 23-year-old Michael Jordan, along with 24-year-old Dominique Wilkins, both here for at least three years. Jordan here for four. Jordan has already left the Rockets. He is now with the Atlanta Hawks for at least four years. Let's see what he can do. Magic Johnson goes back-to-back -back MVPs, 25, 11, and 12. Another triple-double for him. Patrick Ewing, Rookie of the Year. Clark Kellogg, Sixth Man of the Year. And Akeem Olajuwon, now on the Cavs, goes back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year to start his career. Lakers, once again, the one seed in the West. Boston, the one seed in the East. Atlanta, the two seed in the East. We had a very good season. Just the Celtics are going to be unbelievable for these first few years here. We face off against the seven-seeded Washington Bullets in the first round. We quickly go up 2-0, and it is a sweep. Michael Jordan gets his first playoff series win of the simulation. We now move to seven-game series as we are in the conference semifinals. We face off against the three-seeded Philadelphia 76ers, who were the Eastern Conference champions last year. We take game one, 3-0. A dominant performance so far, and we finally lose a game, lose two in a row. Oh my god. We go from 3-0 to 3-3. Let's hop in a Simcast here. We're going to be safe. It was a little scary there, but it ended up working out. Jordan goes for 19. Dominique Wilkins goes for 14. Very efficient from the field. After being up 3-0, we make it very, very close and go to a game seven, but we now are in the conference finals for the first time, and we face off against the one-seeded Boston Celtics. They have home court advantage. They go up 2-0. 2-1, 3-1. Going to need to win three straight to get to our first finals. We take one, and we take two. We were down 3-1, and we are now tied in the conference finals. We go to Boston for game seven, and it is a dominant performance. Dominique Wilkins goes for 46. Jordan goes for 44. And we come back down 3-1 and head to our first finals, where we face off against the LA Lakers. Lakers went undefeated last year. This time they took two losses in the conference finals and a loss in the conference semis. They definitely seem beatable, but they are an absolutely unbelievable team. Let's see what we can do. And we go up 2-0, 2-2. The road team has won every game so far and the Lakers win three straight. We are on the brink of losing the finals. Game six, gotta have it for the Hawks. And we do not. We go up 2-0 and then the Lakers rip off four straight. Magic Johnson finals MVP 30, 11, and 11. One steal and a block per game. Here's the squad for your number three. It's basically the same, but Jordan gets better. Wilkins gets better. That's exactly what we want to see. We were just two wins away from the finals last season. Let's see what we can do in year number three. Magic Johnson rips off three straight MVPs, 25, 11, and 12. Another triple-double for him. Hakeem Olajuwon, three straight DPOYs to start his career. 1.5 steals, 3.7 blocks, and averaging 25 and 15. 
We do have some parity in the league now. Portland is the one seed. Utah's the two seed. The Lakers dropped to the three seed. However, Boston is still the one, and we are still the two. We face off against the New Jersey Nets in round number one. We split the first two games, go up 2-1, 2-2. Season on the line, and we have it. Let's take a look at the box score. Jordan in an elimination game. Unbelievable. 28-6-5. Dominique Wilkins, 24-10-5. Both those two are ridiculously efficient. All right, we move on. We face off against the three-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. We split the first two. 2-2. Two -two. We split the first four games. We are now back at home in a crucial game five, and we got it. One went away from our second straight conference finals appearance, and we go to a game seven. So many elimination games. Let's hop into SimCast. And once again, it's a dominant performance. Jordan goes for 36. Wilkins goes for 30. Doc Rivers actually has a 17, 3, and 7. The Lakers get eliminated in the Western Conference. Portland and Utah advance, and it is us versus the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. A rematch from a year ago. Go up 2-0. 3-0, and it is a sweep. We dominate our way to the finals where we face off against the Portland Trailblazers. Blazers, Hawks, finals. Split the first two. 2-2. The most important game five of the sim so far, and we take it. Jordan is one win away from his first NBA championship. Him and Dominique both. Here we are. Atlanta has a 12-point lead with 24 seconds to go. We have done it. Dominique Wilkins and a young Michael Jordan have both gotten their first championships of their career. And that will do it. The Hawks win a championship in year number three of the Sim, led by Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. Michael Jordan leaves the Rockets after his rookie year, and it works out beautifully for him. Two straight finals appearances and a ring. And who else would it be? Michael Jordan receives the finals MVP trophy. He's now number 22. Jordan in game six goes 33, six and four. Wilkins goes for 29, eight and six. And the Hawks have won the finals. Here is Jordan's stats throughout the series. 28, six and five, two steals, three blocks a game as a guard. Dominance from Michael Jordan in year number three. And we are only getting started. Here we are in year number four, and it's the last year on Dominique Wilkins' deal with the Hawks. We will see if he re-signs. Very similar roster to last year. Honestly, we did get a little bit better, but we did lose some guys at the end of the bench. Let's get year number four underway. Charles Barkley wins his first career MVP for the Milwaukee Bucks, 26-11-5. David Robinson, Rookie of the Year. Look at those numbers. 20-10-4, steal, and two and a half blocks. Kim Olajuwon. Of course, does it again. 25-15, three assists, one and a half steals, and three blocks per game. He has had an unbelievable start to his career with the Cavs. Portland, once again, the one seed in the Western Conference. This time it's Milwaukee who are the one seed in the Eastern Conference, and we dropped down to three. It was a little bit of a down year for us. Obviously, not that bad, though, because we are the three seed. We're facing off against Akeem Olajuwon in the playoffs for the first time in the sim. We face off against the six-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers. We split the first two. We take game three, and we are through. We face off against Boston once again. This time it's in the second round. Two seed versus three seed. Split the first two. We split the first four. A crucial game five once again against the Boston Celtics. One win away from our third straight Eastern Conference Finals. And we go to another game seven. Another winner go home. Let's hop into SimCast. And once again, Michael Jordan gets it done. This time, it was Dominique Wilkins doing the heavy lifting. 36-10-4, 17 for 22 from the field. Jordan goes for 25-5-11 and five steals. The Boston Celtics just cannot stop us as we now meet the MVP of the league and the Milwaukee Bucks in the conference finals. Once again, we split the first two, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Oh my God, another close series, another very important game five. And we take it once again. One win away from our third consecutive finals. And we go to game seven again. My God. So many winner go home games here. Top on the SimCast once again. This time, it is not going to go our way. The Atlanta Hawks are eliminated. Charles Barkley, the MVP of the league. 26-3-8. and 9-12 for 12 from the field. We do not make the finals for the first time in two seasons. Blazers, Bucks, finals. And the Blazers win in seven, led by Carl Malone. 19, 10, and six. Two steals a game and one block a game. The MVP of the league has an incredible season, but is not able to get it done in the finals as the Blazers take their first ring. Dominique Wilkins has returned. A five-year deal for him. Jordan now on the last year of his contract. 
Once again, very similar team to the ones we've had the last few years. We've still got Doc Rivers, still got Terry Porter, and then just a bunch of end-of-the-bench guys on very, very small deals. We went to the finals two straight years, and then we did not last year. Let's see if we can get back to our winning ways in year number five. Akeem Olajuwon now with the Indiana Pacers wins his first MVP 28, 15, and 3, 1.5, 3.2. And he also wins the Defensive Player of the Year as we are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. MVP and DPOI, Hakeem Olajuwon led the Pacers to be the five seed. First time in five seasons that we are the one seed we face off against what would have been Michael Jordan's team, the Chicago Bulls. Quickly go up 2-0, and it's a sweep. We dominate through the first round, and we have another matchup with Hakeem Olajuwon. One seed versus five seed, Pacers versus Hawks, Jordan versus Hakeem. They go up 2-0, and we're down 3-1. Got to rip off three straight here to go to the conference finals. And we get eliminated in six games. Hakeem gets his revenge on us. What a game. Hakeem goes for 48 and 21 in game six to knock us off. What a series. 43 and 10 in game one. 46 and 15 in game two. The Mavs win the finals led by MVP of last season, Charles Barkley, 24, 11, and 3, 1.2 and 0.6 blocks a game. Hakeem Olajuwon was taken down by the Knicks in the conference finals, and the Mavs get their first ring of the sim. Here we go. Moment of truth. Is Jordan still with the Atlanta Hawks? No, he is not. Michael Jordan has switched teams once again. And Michael Jordan is headed over to the Philadelphia 76ers. Rolando Blackman, Maurice Cheeks, Manute Bull, and a very old Dr. J make up his team. Michael Jordan here for three years. Let's see what he can do in year number six. Magic Johnson, another MVP for him, this time with the New Jersey Nets, 25, 9, and 9, 1.4 steals a game. For MJ, his first year with the Philadelphia 76ers did not go great. We were the 7 and 8 seed for most of the season, but we were able to pick it up towards the end there and move our way up to the 5 seed. We face off once again with the Boston Celtics in the first round. Split the first two games, we get eliminated. Just like that, Jordan has his worst playoffs since year number one. The Knicks win the finals over the LA Clippers, led by Bernard King, 26-5-3 for him. Not much from Jordan or Hakeem in that season. Let's see what they can do in year number seven. Here's the squad heading into year number seven. It really did not get much better, really didn't get much worse. It's once again going to be carried by 28-year-old, 96 overall, Michael Jordan. Let's see what he can do. Magic Johnson, another MVP, just absolutely dominant, 26-8-10. Hakeem Olajuwon, once again, Defensive Player of the Year. And for Michael Jordan and the Sixers, it was a season to forget. He did not make the playoffs. Looks like he made a bad career decision heading to Philadelphia. I guess we could see what happens next year. But for now, let's see who wins this title. It is the Knicks who go back to back, this time led by Brad Daugherty. 30-11-1 for him. 1.5, 1.5 on the defensive stats. Let's see if Michael Jordan and the Sixers could do anything about that in year number eight. Jordan now on his last year of his deal with the Sixers. Very unlikely he will be here next year unless we can make a run in this season. Team is old, low overalls, never really a good mix. Let's see what he can do in year number eight. Magic Johnson, doesn't matter where he goes, this man will win MVP 27, nine and nine. Jordan still does not have an MVP eight years into the sim. And Akeem, just who even cared at this point, another defensive player of the year for him. Jordan and the Sixers had another very, very, very bad season. This time we weren't even close to the playoffs. I believe he started like three and 15. It was an ugly season all around. We'll see if Jordan is still here next year, but for his sake, I sure hope not. The Bullets win their first championship of the Sim. Winston Garland wins MVP going for 23-2-6. We now enter a new era. We are now in the 1990s, also known as the Jordan era. Philadelphia 76ers were not able to retain Michael Jordan. And he realized he made the wrong decision in leaving the Hawks. He comes running back on a four-year deal to the Atlanta Hawks. Dominique Wilkins on the last year of his five-year deal that we saw earlier. They also have Moses Malone, Terry Porter, Deion Jennings, William Bedford. This is a very, very good team. 
once again, Jordan and Wilkins are together. See if Jordan can get a resurgence, maybe win his first MVP in year number nine. Game Olajuwon wins his second MVP of the Sim, 27, 13, and 3, 1.6, 2.8. Shaq wins Rookie of the Year for the Houston Rockets, and Akeem wins another Defensive Player of the Year. Jordan returning to the Hawks turns out to be a great decision. He is now the two seed in the Eastern Conference, and we face off against the New York Knicks in round number one. We split the first two games, and we get eliminated. A very impressive regular season turns out to be nothing. And the Mavericks win the finals. Hakeem gets a ring now, 26, 14, and 3, 1.6, 1.3. Him and Jordan now have the same amount of rings. Jordan's career not going as well as it did in real life. Dominique Wilkins takes his first hit of regression down to a 93 overall. I'm sure Jordan will experience that somewhat soon. The squad did get slightly worse. We were not able to make a run in the playoffs last season, but we did have a great regular season. Let's see what we can do in year number 10. Kim Olajuwon goes back-to-back -back MVPs 23, 12, and 3, 1.5, 2.6. Chris Webber, Rookie of the Year for the Charlotte Hornets. And Akeem, another Defensive Player of the Year. He continues to be the dominant one of the two in terms of awards between him and Michael Jordan. But once again, him and Dominique Wilkins take the two seed in the Eastern Conference. We take the first two games against the Pistons, 2-1 and we are through very comfortably. We win three out of four games, and we now face off against the three-seeded Miami Heat in round number two. We split the first two, up 3-1, and we are through to the conference finals. We come back to the Hawks, have a bad first run in the playoffs, and just like that, we are back in the conference finals. If we win, we've got a chance to face off against Akeem in the finals. First though, we gotta get through the four-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers as we split the first two, split the first four. Crucial game five, our first crucial game five in years. And we take it. One win away from returning to the finals for the first time in, I believe, five years. And we are through. We've got a Suns-Hawks finals. The Suns are led by David Robinson. They absolutely destroyed Akeem Olajuwon and the Dallas Mavericks. They swept them in the conference finals. Let's get right into the finals. We take game one. Take game two. 2-1. Two up 3-1. Once again, one win away from a championship would be Jordan and Dominique second. And we get it done. The Atlanta Hawks knock off the Phoenix Suns in five games, led by number 22, Michael Jordan. 28-5-7, two steals, 1.4 blocks for Jordan. A beautiful 10th season. We are now in year number 11, and here's the squad for year number 11. Two years left on the deal for both of these guys. We'll see if one or either of them return after these two seasons. Once again, the squad very similar to last year's. Not much better, not much worse. We were able to win the finals last year with basically the same squad. See if we can do it in year number 11. Akeem Olajuwon once again, MVP 27, 11, and three. He certainly got Jordan in the accolades as he gets another defensive player of the year. For Jordan though, championships were always more important. He faces off against the seven seed at Philadelphia 76ers in round one as we're the two seed once again. We simply cannot get over the hump and actually end up being that one seed as we split the first two games here. Go down 2-1, 2-2. Winner go home, game five against Philadelphia, Jordan's former team, and we do get through. It was closer than we would have liked, but it doesn't matter as we get it done and we once again face off against the Boston Celtics. We cannot avoid them in the playoffs. We split the first two games, 2-1, two 2-2. -one, two -two. Another important game five and we take it. One win away from back-to-back -back conference finals appearances and we are there once again. Four wins away from the finals and Dallas also four wins away from the finals again. They got swept last year, preventing us from a Jordan Hakeem finals. We'll see what happens this time around. Atlanta versus Charlotte in the conference finals. They take game one, split the first two, two, two. My goodness, we just cannot have a blowout series, can we? Another very important game five at home in Atlanta and we take it. One win away from the finals once again and we are through. And look at who we are playing against. It is a Jordan Hakeem Finals. This time Jordan went to the Rockets, Hakeem went to the Blazers, but it still ends up with them facing off in the finals. Mavs, Hawks. We take game one, 2-0. They take game three, 2-1 series. And we go up 3-1. One win away once again. Who cares about MVPs, Defensive Player of the Years? If you can beat them in the finals, if they take game five, 3-2. 3-3. Oh my gosh. We go from a 3-1 lead to a 3-3 tie. Game seven. Another winner go home game. This time it's in the finals in game seven. 
Top in the same cast. We're gonna get it done. The Mavericks aren't able to do enough. Jordan, 34, five and seven, six steals. It's enough to knock off MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, Hakeem's 33 and 16. We win a very close one in seven games. 25, four and seven for Michael Jordan, two and a half steals and a block per game. Make that three championships now for Michael Jordan as a part of the Atlanta Hawks. Here's a squad that is hoping to go for a three-peat. It is Jordan and Wilkins once again on the same squad, both on the last year of the deal. Wilkins has significantly dropped from a 94 down to a 90, and Jordan takes his first hit of regression down to a 95 overall get right into year number 12. Shaq wins his first MVP of the Sim 30, 15, one and a half, one and a half steals and three blocks per game. Kevin Garnett, rookie of the year for the Indiana Pacers and Akeem Olajuwon, another defensive player of the year. He decided to switch teams this time and this time head to the Boston Celtics. The Atlanta Hawks, not a great regular season for us. We are only the five seed. I think the Easter Conference is actually very, very good because we were we were well above 500. It wasn't like we were a 500 team that, you know, just kind of had a couple games here and there that boosted us to the five seed. We were very good, but there's still four teams better than us, one of which is the New Jersey Nets, who we face off against here in the first round as they take the first two games. And it is a very quick sweep by the New Jersey Nets. And the Nuggets sweep their way to the championship led by finals MVP Charles Barkley, 19-9-4, and four, as once again, Hakeem gets knocked off in the playoffs. Good to see for Jordan fans as the Nuggets dominate Hakeem Olajuwon in four games. All right, it is time to see if Jordan and Hakeem have stayed. Dominique decides to stay. Looks like he's going to finish his career with the Hawks, but Michael Jordan has left. Where has he gone? Michael Jordan has joined the Minnesota Timberwolves, a very new franchise here. I think they've only been around for like six or seven years at this point in the sim, if that. All right, let's get year 13 underway. This could be the last team we see Michael Jordan on in the sim. We have a new MVP, and it is Chris Webber, 29, 15, and 6. The big men are dominating the MVP races so far outside of, of course, Magic Johnson. Steve Nash, Rookie of the Year for the Dallas Mavericks, and Shaq, Defensive Player of the Year for the Houston Rockets, 1.43 points. Six. The first year with the Timberwolves went better than expected. I thought it was going to be much, much worse with the roster we had around it, but we actually have a decent chance here to maybe get to the second round as we face off against the five-seeded Golden State Warriors in round number one. We split the first two games, they take game three, and we get eliminated. I jinxed it just like that. We get kicked out of the playoffs in the first round for the second straight year this time in the Western Conference by the Golden State Warriors. And the Celtics win the championship. Hakeem gets one back on Jordan, now just trails by one, 23-12-3. 1.2, 2.2 for Hakeem. MJ still has more rings, but Hakeem beats him in basically every other stat. Michael Jordan still here. Just one year left on his deal with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Could be a very short-lived trip here. He is now a 35-year-old, down to an 89 overall. This could be his first chance at retirement. We'll definitely be sure to check after the season. I think we should be okay, though. Uh, let's see what he can do in year number 14. Jason Kidd wins MVP for the Golden State Warriors. Not who I was going to expect to win an MVP in the same 27, 6, and 9. Two steals for him. Rookie of the year, Tim Duncan with the Lakers. That looks very, very ugly. Shaq, another defensive player of the year with the Houston Rockets. The Minnesota Timberwolves had a very, very bad season. Jordan's regression is starting to be very clear and be a negative for the team. No playoff appearance for him this year. And the Suns win the NBA Finals led by David Robinson. 28, 8, and 6 for him. 1.5 blocks a game. A dominant display for him in the Finals as they beat the Hornets. Akeem did lose in round one to the eight-seeded Washington Bullets. Let's see, as Jordan retired, no, he has not. Let's see if he has resigned with the Minnesota Timberwolves or decided to head back somewhere else. Michael Jordan has decided to resign with the Minnesota Timberwolves. I was not expecting that. One year, $8 million deal. Now an 86 overall. This certainly is looking like his final season. The squad doesn't look great. I'm really not expecting to make the playoffs. Jordan is old. The overall continues to absolutely plummet. We'll see if he can do anything here in year number 15. Chris Webber, MVP 27, 11, and 5. Another MVP for him as Shaquille O'Neal wins another defensive player of the year. 1.23 and a half blocks a game. The Minnesota Timberwolves just squeaked into the playoffs as the 8th seed. It actually was going pretty well to start the season. We were the 4th seed for for at least about a month there. And then we dropped off towards the end of the season down to 8. Let's see if we can have a miracle here 
and be able to make a playoff run as we actually win the first two games, 2-2. Two -two. We get our hopes up for no reason. We go up 2-0 just to get reverse swept by the Utah Jazz and the Celtics win the finals. And that is the worst thing that could have happened. Hakeem now tied with Jordan in rings, 21-11-4, 1.5, 1.5, as the Celtics get revenge on the Nuggets. And there it is, Michael Jordan has retired from the game of basketball after 15 seasons. Jordan began his career with the Houston Rockets where he started with a 24 and 4, 1.8, 1.4 in his rookie year. Not a bad start at all. He then moved to Atlanta, his first peak. He won a championship with Dominique Wilkins very early in his career and had a lot of success. Two steals a game for four consecutive seasons and over a block per game for a very, very long time. He then headed to Philly where he had his best individual seasons so far. 26 seven six and four in 90 and 91 1.8 steals 1.6 blocks he then realized he made a mistake as he had his worst team seasons with philly and returned to atlanta back with dominique and they won two championships in four years but this is where the first regression really started to hit and finally he headed to minnesota where his career wrapped up it was not great in those final seasons with minnesota he did have one good year the first year he headed there 26 4 4 1.8 steals and 1.1 blocks followed by a steep decline and the eventual retirement here is his accolades he was an nba champion three times and a finals mvp every single time he was an all-star in every year of his career first team all nba four times second team all nba eight times and first team all defense 14 of 15 seasons he was never able to get an mvp he was never able to get a defensive player of the year hakeem is still continuing his career but here is a look at what he did in the time that him and michael jordan were drafted he was a three-time nba champion in 92 96 and 98 a four-time mvp three-time finals mvp 15-time All-Star. He made the All-Star game every year so far. First team All-NBA 11 times and second team All-NBA three times. He had a very strong 15 years and did even better than Michael Jordan. But yeah, that will do it for The Sim. If you made it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know these videos are not short. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below. It is very helpful for the channel. Subscribe for more content like this and be sure to click that bell so you can be one of the first people to see the new videos. If you want to watch the raw and uncut footage, be sure to check out my Twitch Wardy Boss 30 yt I stream all of my videos over there. And if you want to see more news, opinions, and breakdowns, be sure to check out my TikTok, WordyBoss30. I'll put both up on the screen right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you make it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.